fucking look at that thing. That is as large as a fucking walrus which has been inflated with gelatin over the course of 20 years and has actually borne flight somehow. Don't read into why I know what that looks like. Welcome back to Purge the Wiki, the series in which we tell a cautionary tale of the D&D Wiki and attempt to go through it and cleanse it for all that it's worth. And I can tell you something, my friends, this is one dirty, dirty place, the D&D Wiki. It truly never ceases to amaze me how easy it is to find all of these homebrew classes and races today. And today we are going to be looking at a class, the previous two episodes we looked at race, so I thought, why not switch it up again? So without any further ado, my friends, Let's go and purge the wiki. Welcome to the fucking darkest timeline. Today we're going to be looking at the Dragon Knight 5e class and holy fucking hell look at this table of contents. I mean fucking look at that thing. That is as large as a fucking walrus which has been inflated with gelatin over the course of 20 years and has actually borne flight somehow. Don't read into why I know what that looks like. A heavily clad knight walks through the town. The townsfolk make way with fear in their eyes. She hears a scream, ah, in the middle of town, and she rushes to the source. A man, the governor, just executed another man for stumbling before him. <laughs> How dare you stumble before me, sir? <clears throat> Eyes of rage burn behind her intimidating helmet. She leaps and strikes at the governor. He retracts and tries to cast his spells to no avail. She grabs the man by the neck and her cloak spreads out, shifting into wings as she launches into the air. Over 9,000! She calls out to the wind, then throws the man downwards as he falls his last sight is the maw of an ancient dragon. She lands upon her companion, then departs. Right, <laughs> well, that told me all I need to know. Not many deserve to rule over dragons, and fewer still can ever accomplish such a feat. But those who do mostly become dragon knights, an ancient order who once devoted their lives to protecting the eggs of dragons. These warriors would lay down their lives in exchange for a dragon to watch over their race. Occasionally a wormling would see the devotion of these knights and would then devote their lives to protecting the one who they owed their chance at life to. But with the dwindling number of dragons, this order simply faded into history. It's a fucking lot of Devotion goes into this. That's what I'm getting. Lots of devotion. I think the, the word devote may be in this paragraph at least six or seven times. Many dragons possess powers that even they are not aware of. A dragon knight knows the ancient arts required in artificial aging and power extraction. And by forging a soul, connection with the dragon, either willing forced, creates a symbiotic relationship between the two, although the knight tends to take more than it gives in terms of power. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, the innuendos in this. Yeah, yeah, their courage is boundless, their strength is magnificent, their leadership is awe-inspiring, they're the fucking greatest. All right, let's get down to the most painful parts. Ah, here we go. Get ready, bend over, bite the pillow. Hit dice 1d10 per dragon level. Sure, proficiencies, light, medium, heavy armor, and shields. Weapons, simple weapon, weapons, martial weapons. Saving throws, strength, and calm. They get to choose free skills. Uh, they can get scale mail. Pretty standard looking pack. Alright, and then we have the table. Let's see how this goes. I am very worried because at first level it reads obtain dragon. Hmm. All right, so starting at first level, you gain a dragon companion that has the physical stats of a pseudo dragon. Your dragon ages magically as you grow in power and will take on the physical traits of new dragon templates as you level in this class. Oh, that's a fucking awful idea. Holy shit. When you gain this feature, choose a dragon type based on your alignment. Fuck me. At least one axis of which you must share with the dragon. You also learn Draconic. If you already know Draconic, you may instead teach a language you know to your dragon. What? You also gain the feat Mounted Combatant with your dragon only. You also form a telepathic bond with your dragon, like that in the Find Familiar spell, and gain double your proficiency bonus to two of the following. Athletic. Just fucking singular. Acrobatics, animal handling, intimidation, persuasion, performance checks made of the dragon, but not for the dragon. In brackets, the DM can state the dragon makes the athletic check. What the fuck is this? Athletic check. 
to keep running, but a dragon knight must make the animal handling to control the dragon or an intimidation check on the dragon when the dragon is large enough to be intimidating. Dragon knights are also known to wear armor in the battle. Holy fucking paragraph, right. So you choose a dragon based on one axis of your fucking alignment, right. Alright, let's not even go into fucking level one pseudo dragon and telepathic bond and double proficiency because apparently the dragon template levels up oh yes yes it does my friends holy fucking hell oh god this purging is gonna feel good your dragon levels with you as low it had a class it gains 1d8 plus his con modifier and hit points each time you level uh the dragon starts the following ability scores order in any way you like 12 12 10 10 10 8 unless a pre-existing dragon is given by your dm than which the hit points is halved and the dragon starts with no health from this class feature size also does not affect your dragon unless the dm permits which grants a recommended increase every two increases in this template <laughs> What? Your dragon cannot wield weapons. It is considered proficient with his own attacks. It uses 10 plus prof plus charisma modifier for its DCs. Its AC equals 13 plus dex modifier plus bonus. And it's wearing armor specifically tailored to a dragon's size and shape. Due to which its unspecialized nature will cost three times as much as the base armor. In which case AC equals 13 plus dex plus bonus plus armor. If your dragon dies, same rules as player death. You are unable to regain a different dragon. But instead must resurrect or reincarnate your original dragon. Either through magic or a quest given by the DM. Your dragon is proficient in two skills of your choice. And is proficient in one save. Choose one between dex, con, wisdom. It gains an additional two skills. And saves at every 7, 14th and 20th level. The dragon has a walking speed of 30 feet and immunity to this element. Your dragon improves as you level. As shown on the table below, the dragon has a following ability score restrictions. Medium, small, low, max, 24, large, 26, huge, 28, gargantuan, 30. Alright, let's see what the fuck Why do I do this to myself? Okay, so it levels with you. By level 3, it's no longer tiny, it's small. By level 8, it's medium. By level 13, it's large. It levels with you, so you're basically playing two characters. Attacks. A bite attack deals piercing damage to reach of 5 feet, it increases to 7 feet at level 7. Claw attack increases to 10 feet at 20. It's got a fucking tail sweep, which does 15 foot radius damage, yeah, sure. It's got fucking 10 to 12 minor traits by the look of it. It's got an echoing voice. You get extra proficiencies, extra language, extra dark vision sight, it's amphibious, it can walk on icy terrain, it can you can give it quick swimmer immunity for less hypnotic speech, greater capacity. I mean like you add these traits on yeah, minor traits and major traits get added at certain levels, it seems like. Wow, okay. Major traits, you get a fucking feat. It gets ability score increases, extra saves, you can give it additional breath attack, you can uh, overcome resistance, you can be skilled, you can give it a major trait of flight. You and a dragon gains the ability to fly at speed equal to twice its walking speed, which is what, 60 feet? And you can select this trait multiple times. So at level 1, it can fly, but can you ride it because it's tiny or do you have to wait until it's small or medium? You adopt a particular fighting style as your specialty. Stylish. When you strike an enemy, you make an intimidation or performance check against a foe within 30 feet of you, opposed by a wisdom saving throw. If they fail, they focus your attention on you, granting a disadvantage on an neck attack if it's not against you. Right, so I'm actually speechless. Some of these things. So how do you get so fucking much? You get a fighting style at level 1? Yeah, you get one of these fighting styles at level 1. You also get your dragon at level 1, which also gets a minor trait and a major trait. Alright, level 3, you choose which kind of dragon lord you are. Blood lord, dragon slayer, or dragoon. <laughs> I'm a dragoon. <laughs> Wait, what? You also fucking begin to share hit points of your dragon? Half all damage taken by either of you, and the other takes the other half. What? And level 3 bonus action, you can command your dragon to use its breath attack. Right, I'm not gonna read through all of this, but... Fuck me. <laughs> 46. <laughs> One round, five feet. Okay, okay, sure, sure. Bellow of Fear, level 9, is an action you may let off. Fearsome Roar! 
that rivals Lows of the Dragons. Each creature within 120 feet of you must succeed in a wisdom saving throw. 120 feet or become frightened for one minute. You may allow creatures friendly to you to succeed to save. You also have advantage on all attack rolls against frightened enemies. This is the image which is provided for the Dragon Knight and quite frankly, it reflects my feelings. At level 11, you can choose to have advantage on any strength or con check or saving throw every long or short rest. Dragon's Legacy, you share a portion of the dragon's famed lifespan. For every 20 years past, you will age one year and are immune to the effects of aging. At level 13, you may add an additional bonus to your attack and damage rolls equal to half your proficiency bonus, rounded down for weapon attacks you're proficient with. Level 20. Oh, here we fucking go, boys. Let's go full fucking weeb. At level 20, your body changes, morphing into a more dragon-like creature at will. Choose one of the following whenever you morph. Claws, teeth, scales, or wings, and a tail. You may use an action to attack with one of your new natural weapons as if you were an ancient dragon. The attack is considered magical. If you choose claws and you have a free hand, you may attack with it as an offhand attack as if two weapon fighting. You only gain quick once and an AC increase equal to quarter of your dragon's natural AC. If you choose scales, your AC increases by your dragon's dex modifier instead. If you choose wings, you may fly. <laughs> What's the fucking point? You already have a fucking ancient dragon. <laughs> I know, at level 20, once you have an ancient dragon, what would be cool? Turning into an ancient dragon. <laughs> Fuck me, that's just the base classes as well. There are free fucking archetypes as well. I, I'm not- I'm not gonna go through the Dragon Lords. I believe him when he says Dragon Knights rule their dragons in very unique ways. And I'm not sure that I'm quite ready to go down that dark rabbit hole. You know, I thought we'd look at a class rather than a race fawn of Lee's, and uh, I feel like we've done some significant amount of purging today. I swear to the almighty gods. I mean, it, it really does sort of beg a belief in terms of, like, what people are thinking with balance, you know? Like, yeah, why don't we create a class in which they just get a dragon which is just tamed to them at level 1, and then it levels as they level, because that's how that works. Ancient dragons also age with the level of the person. Like, explain to me, fucking please, how an ancient dragon level simply because the dragon knight is gaining an experience. Surely, being a young dragon, you get to being an ancient dragon via time. Via the very concept, the process of time. Not the process of that guy over there is getting XP and therefore I am getting older. Like, I don't understand how you become like a fucking ancient gargantuan dragon just via this guy. I mean, yeah, their souls are linked, but that fucking doesn't mean anything. That doesn't actually fucking mean anything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Purge of the Wiki, but if you have enjoyed the video, please do comment down below with something that I should look at next, uh, and um, what you thought of the Dragon Knight 5e class. If you liked the video, fucking like it, and I'll see you guys next time.